Hello everyone, my name is Lacey Noel, and today I'm going to be playing around with the Life's a Drag palette from Lunar Beauty. Now, this palette, I know it's a year old, but since it's Pride Month and I've also been really wanting this palette, um, I thought it would be a neat idea to do a makeup tutorial. So um, let's crack it open. But before I do, actually, there's like a little message on the back. It says, and this is from Manny MUA, I dedicate this palette to all my makeup lovers out there. We are all queens. My first experience in the makeup world was in drag. Same. Um, which is why drag has been such an important influence in my life and always will be. I've worked so hard to come up with a beautiful mix of neutral and bright colors that blend effortlessly. I know that you'll have fun creating sickening looks with it as much as I had creating it. Thank you all for the constant support. Life's a drag wouldn't be here without you. With each pan, I think there is 0.70 ounces and 21 grams or that might be in the whole palette. I'm not really good at math. <laughs> and also, um, when I was in high school, I nearly didn't graduate because I was really bad at math, so a little fun fact. Anyway, getting into this, it has a very beautiful set of eyes with a, <laughs> with a holographic tone to it. And then on the back, it has the name of the makeup brand as well as the palette. And then opening it, it says be a queen on the mirror. I don't want to show you guys the mirror because then you'll see all my secrets. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to put this guy over it so you guys can see the colors. This is really beautiful. Um, and the pans are actually bigger than I thought they would be. It has a nice set of not only matte neutrals, but also matte colors. And this is actually what I really love from a palette. A minimal range of shimmers. I think there's only two shimmers here. And then, you know, the rest are matte, so it's easy to really blend these colors and use these colors for a myriad of looks. Whereas if a palette has more shimmers in it, then it's just kind of hard to work with. So I'm really, really, really excited to use this. And for this look, I'm actually inspired by a little makeup tutorial that I found of my beautiful friend, Pheromone. And it was a makeup tutorial she did with VH1 for her sunset talent look. And I saw that she was using this palette, so I thought that I would do it too. Oh, before I even get into my makeup, I'm gonna show you guys every single name that's here. There's Cake Face, Sickening, Hunty, Beat, Campy, Pageant Queen, Kiki, Shady, Trade, Mug, Legend, Kai Kai, <laughs> Snatched, and Fishy. And being like a bit of a, you know, a bit of a veteran amongst the dry community, like the modern dry community, I am very familiar with all these terms. But for my first step, I'm going to be using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as a base for my eye. And with my Kat Von D 10 brush, I'm blending it out. And now that we have a nice sturdy foundation to work with, I'm going to use my Sephora. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to be using my Sephora blending crease brush. Dip that into Campy and go along my inner crease. This yellow is cute. I like the shade. <laughs> it's really buildable too. And of course, so pigmented. Oh, I really, yeah, this yellow is great. So next I'm going to go in with my Morphe R38 brush, which is a nice little simple blending brush. And I'm going to go into Kai Kai and go towards the middle of the crease. And as I'm going along, lightly blend that in with the yellow. Though not all the way. You want the yellow to blend 
gradually into the pink. I love pink and yellow together. It's like strawberry lemonade. And what I love about these two colors is that in the middle, they blend perfectly. And the middle color kind of gives me Cat Von D, Pastel Goth, Clementine vibes. And that was like my fav one of my favorite colors from that palette, so that's really, really cool how it did that. And then I'm gonna go into Pageant Queen with my Morphe R37 brush. And lightly go on the end. and make sure that it's nicely blended. And then we're going to wing it out as well. All right, now that we have this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm going to be using my Ben Nye Clown White to stencil out a nice crease for myself. And I'm just gonna cut my crease right through these colors. Blend this with my finger. Then I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of Kai Kai and clean this little part up. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of Campy and put that here. And I'm going to take a little bit of my Mehron Paradise paint in the shade white. Put a little bit of water in there. And I am going to define the crease just a little bit more. So it has just like a nice sharp cut through there. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my Anastasia 18 brush and dip that into cake face and I am going to set this clown white with it. I like this white a lot. It's really really cool. It's very pigmented. It's nice and matte too. It's nice and buildable too. That's what I really like about this palette. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of Pageant Queen again, which is the purple, and then blend it a little bit more inward. And then with the pink, I'm just going to blend that in with Pageant Queen. I love this. The colors in this are really, really good. I'm glad they are. Then I'm going to go in with my marvelous Trixie Mattel glitter. This the packaging with a lot of different things I like to keep and collect it and with this packaging in particular I never want to throw it out, it's the cutest. I'm going to use some of this Trixie Mattel glitter in the shade Marshmallow and I'm going to take a little bit of the Anastasia glitter adhesive.
And put that where cake face is. And then I'm gonna take some of this glitter. Dab my finger into it and lightly tap it on where the glue is. I love that. This glitter always makes me smile. It's so cool. I love this so much. Moving on to the lower lid, I I just threw something. I am gonna take this purple pageant queen and blend it from this corner of my eye slightly inward. And since I love this color, like the color combo between the purple, the pink, and the yellow, I'm gonna continue that. And with my MAC 209 brush, I'm gonna go into Kai Kai. And ombre this purple into a yellow. Going into Campy with the same brush. I'm gonna drag that into my inner corner. These colors are so good. And actually, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take my Morphe M217 brush and put this yellow a little bit more inward. This, I'm so glad this palette's good. And I'm just blending this out just a little bit. I can see myself using this palette like constantly because I mean, I haven't used the neutrals yet, but just taking a little gander at them from here, I can tell that they're like, if they're as good as these ones right here, then I can easily, like this palette could easily just be, if I only had one palette, this would be an easy thing to work with. You know what I mean? Because there's color, there's neutrals, you can mix and match them. What's funny about this palette is that like I, it came out a year ago and I'm not using it till now and I really really wish that I got it sooner because this, I just, I love it. I love it so much. Um, next I'm going to go in with my ColourPop liner, shake it up a little bit and then I'm just going to give myself a nice wing. And now that we have a nice little wing, I am going to use my Wet n Wild pencil liner. I always forget that I use this so much that I rub the name off of it, but I'm going to go along the waterline and connect the two different sides together. Then I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home mascara and go along the top lash and the bottom lash. All 
All right, next I'm gonna put on lashes. And these are Mimi from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. And I'm gonna apply them with some liquid latex, cause that's how I roll. And it's pretty much the same thing as a eyelash glue. Then I'm gonna go in with the bottom lashes. These are some old lashes I cut up a long time ago. And I'm just gonna stick these guys. Right along my waterline, but not too close. There we are. And to finish it off, I am going to take some of my Clown white and put it along the brow bone to not only clean up my brow, but it also amplifies the other colors that are in the crease. And then I'll blend that out with my finger. and put a little bit of cake face there. And there we are. A nice, beautiful, draggy sunset. And also for a finishing touch, I'm going to use my Buxom lip gloss in the shade Persephone. And just Put it right over my lipstick. And also, it's supposed to like sting your lips to kind of make them bigger. I think that's what it says on here. Yes, it's a it's a full on plumping lip polish. And I think that looks beautiful with this eye. I'll be back with the next eye in just a little bit. And there's my final look. I am so, so, so in love with this look, with the colors, the way that they blended in with each other, and this palette is seriously the bee's knees. It's amazing. Like, I, it, it's funny because I went to the Morphe store before and I was like playing around with different palettes and I was trying to debate on which one I should get and I'm an absolute fool for not getting this sooner because I think that this might be my, my new favorite palette even though it came out a year ago. I'm very, very, very super stoked that I got this. Um, I'm excited to play around with the other colors in this palette as well as the neutrals and I love the fact that there's only two shimmers in it because I love playing around with mattes with it being pride month and everything don't just get things that are um that are lgbt friendly or support lgbt brands only in pride month because you know lgbt rights and all of that is something that's very crucial and very important to society and it's not some sort of trend that, you know, like, oh, sparkly rainbows everywhere for just a month. It's an actual real issue. And um, there's several companies that secretly, you know, fund anti-gay organizations and different, th different organizations that really, really harm the LGBT community. So um, be sure you know who you're supporting. And um, Lunar Beauty is a beautiful LGBT friendly ba band, really. <laughs> I mean, Lunar Be Beauty sounds like a, you know, like a really sweet heavy metal band, but I mean, <laughs> so um, Lunar Beauty is a wonderful LGBT brand, and I mean, with this palette, this Life's a Drag palette, it's super high quality, and it's super sturdy, and I think that I'm really going to be able to use this for a long time and I'm excited to put it to really good use with all the different looks that I do. 
And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If I were to rate this palette, I would give it a 10 out of 10, which is pretty, pretty rare, I feel, because I've, I mean, since I've really done makeup reviews and all of that, like last year and the year before, I played around with a ton of palettes and of every palette that I use, like I think that this is the easiest to work with. It's amazing. So um, if you ever see this in stores in Sephora or Morphe, I highly recommend getting it because there's a whole lot you can do with it. And um, yeah, with that, I hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.